Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> had a haircut, just had a shave. I'm looking super young. I look like I used to look in my videos uh, five years ago. Um, it's just weird. Um, hope you're doing well. It is Sunday here, Sunday morning. The sun is out. It almost feels like spring. Um, it's not quite there yet. We're probably gonna go to another month of crap weather, but it's a, it's a, it's a nice feeling seeing the sun out. Um, hope you're doing well. Just first up, I just want to know if you guys are enjoying this new format of me doing shorter videos every couple of days. Um, are you sick of seeing me too much? Would you rather me do longer videos every two weeks sort of thing? Um, or is there something fun, you know, mixing up with different topics? I don't know. I know sometimes if people post too many videos too quickly, I get, I tend to watch them less. Um, I don't know why, because you, you know you obviously don't want to see the same person all the time. Um, so yeah, just let me know if it's working or if you know if you prefer the other way. It doesn't doesn't matter either way. Just let me know, because I don't know. I don't know. So that's that. Also, if you have any ideas for topics or things you want me to show or talk about, uh, let me know. I'm happy to do that. Um, yeah, whatever you want, uh, with within reason. Um, I'm happy to do that. So that'd be cool. But yeah, on to the topic at hand. Um, I've been on a vinyl diet sort of for almost six weeks now. Um, I did buy one thing, so it's definitely a diet. It's not. A, it's not a, you know, not completely not buying. Um, I bought one thing and I had some store credit and a discount at a store, so I did. Did um, I picked up um, this Moon Dog compilation here? Um, which I just want to talk about really quickly, uh, give you my thoughts on it. So, Moondog, okay, so he's one of those artists that I discovered through the VC and I had known about, but I haven't, I hadn't, you know, sat down properly and decided to listen to Moondog, um, being unsure where to start. Um, I knew, you know, the story behind him and the, the Viking of Sixth Avenue and his, you know, that, that sort of thing. Um, I was always under the impression that he was going to be very avant-garde, um, very, um, yeah, I don't know, I guess spaced out, almost, almost like, just, just in the, in the same way that Anthony Braxton is very avant-garde, I suppose, um, very spacious, and I, I don't really know why I was particularly under that impression, um, but I was expecting, I, you know, I was expecting a very tough, tough listen with Moondog, which may have put me off to a degree. Also, because you know, I don't know, didn't really know where to start. You know, you want to listen to someone in their best way, or the, you know, to understand what they're doing. And a compilation in this instance didn't maybe seem like the right way to do it um, in terms of seeing someone's vision of what they want to put out. And um, that reissue came out last year of the Moon Dog self title, and I was going to get that, but it just never made it down to New Zealand. Um, and I sort of also wanted an original of that, um, which is a very expensive. Um, so in a way, I suppose I'm denying myself of listening to music because I want an original pressing. But anyway, um, I, I saw this uh, in a store and it, had, it was, you know, the trade credit matched up perfectly. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to do it. I was aware of uh, Bird's Lament that it's like the famous Moondock song. I think it was used in for some famous ad campaign or something like that when I was a kid. I don't know, that's that's how I know it. Um, I think like the British Philharmonic Orchestra redid it or something like that. Um, anyway, I know that song. I can't remember exactly where I know it from, um, but I feel like it was something in my childhood. Anyway, so this is the 2009 compilation, which um, has has stuff from basically all the way back to like, is it 53 to, I want to say it's like almost 1991. Um, so it's absolutely uh, career spanning. Uh, it's a two LP thing, Honest John's. Um, yeah, wow, okay, this was a lot, it was not what I was expecting, but I absolutely love it, I think it's fantastic. Um, the, the first thing I, you know, so, as I said before, I was expecting, um, almost like plinky plonky, spaced out, um, I don't know, very, very, very lo-fi. Um, I was expecting more, more of a tough listen, but I immediately, you know, 
um, the, the first, the early stuff, I can absolutely hear, you know, I, I was aware, you know, there's some parallels between early, early Sun Ra and Moon Dog, and I can totally hear that connection. I'm not sure if that's because I've been listening to a lot of Sun Ra lately, but um, just that really uh, primitive recordings and um, like primitive drum patterns and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, from the get-go, I was really blown away. It's not what I was expecting at all. Um, and, and, and the set is set out really nicely. I mean, the last... As it, as it gets on to like the last uh, disc, you really get like a Terry Riley influence, uh, droning sounds, um, it re really beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I feel silly that I've passed up or been afraid for some reason for so long. Not afraid, but I just didn't feel like I was, you know, ready to give it a proper go. Um, the only weird thing, this is just from a pure design point of view, is the labels, they don't say they don't say what side B on what side A, apart from a tiny, tiny mark, which I can't even see on this one. You have to either look at the dead wax. No, this one doesn't even say what side it is. Um, it says on, no, this one doesn't even say. And also, the other weird thing is, you know, this is a, a gatefold, there's no insert, um, and there's absolutely no track listings anywhere. I don't know if this is just a, an oversight from a design point of view, but you know, you've got all these information and photographs. Actually, no, you know, I've never noticed this before. Okay, so you guys tell me, does that not look blank to you, right? If you hold this up to the light, there's trend, there's things, I've just noticed this now, there's actually, this track listings are inscribed, embossed on here, so you can see that. But you know, like, I was listening to this in the evening, I can't see that, I, you know, I can barely even read that now. So, I don't know, you know, clearly that hasn't worked out from a design point of view. Um, yeah, you, so I had, you know, to, to know what tracks are what or where they came from, I had to refer to Discogs, um, which was a bit of a pain. But, you know, we had to talk about the music. But yeah, that, that's just a strange thing. I mean, when you're looking in the evening, you know, there's no, there's no, I don't know if you can, the light's shining a bit weird here. There's nothing that says a, a side. Strange. Anyway, yeah, so... I'm um, really enjoying this compilation at the moment. The, st the late stuff is amazing. Uh, there's this one song that's just this really long, trancey. It's like these repetitive horns, really droney. Yeah, uh, blown away. Um, I will try and probably get the Moon Dog. It's a self-titled that's got like the um, red, dark cover. Um, I could just sort of pony up and get an original, but then it probably won't be the greatest condition. So I, I should just get the reissue of it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, he's one of those artists that I just took a while to get into and uh, I, now, now I get it and it's uh, fantastic. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, so again, um, yeah, let me know if you want me to do any topics to cover. Let me know if this is a great idea or a terrible idea. See you guys.